Good morning and welcome to the Daily Resilient Mindset video out in the sun this morning. So the subject of today's video is about making the choice between being optimistic and pessimistic. Uh, and although you may feel you are an optimistic person or you're a pessimistic person, there is definitely an element of choice. If you have historically tended towards being more pessimistic, you can actually choose to start being more optimistic and that means shifting your thinking, so you are able to do that. And the reason for this is, not only is uh, taking a more optimistic outlook, uh, will it make you feel better? Um, I mean, I've already talked in, in the past videos about the choice between being hopeful and hopeless, particularly in the current uh, climate. But being optimistic rather than pessimistic will actually make you feel better, but actually it will help you uh, improve your tangible results. And uh, wh one of the ways I've spoken about I do this, uh, and I've done this for like seven years now, is, I note down at the end of the day at least five good things about the day. And what I'm doing is rewiring my neurology. I'm actually developing habitual patterns in my neuro neurology that will support a more optimistic view. And I definitely feel over the last seven years that I have seen more opportunities and actually had better results because of it. And I just wanted to cite a bit of research that was in uh, Professor Richard Wiseman. Um, he's um, the only UK professor of the public understanding of psychology but in his book rip it up he cited a piece of research where they got a group of optimists and pessimists together and they got them to go through a newspaper to count the number of images in the paper now the interesting thing is that the optimists took a matter of seconds the pessimists took minutes why was that because on page two of the newspaper there was a box and in that box uh, on that page two, there was a box that said, you do not need to carry on reading anymore. There are 43 images in the newspaper. Now, the thing is, the optimist saw this, the pessimist read past it and just carried on counting the number of images. And I think it's a fascinating piece of research because what it says to me is that your your view, your view of the world, and I talk a lot about things they do, so the way that you see your world, the way you view your world, will actually have an impact on what you do. And in this case, um, somebody who was more optimistic in nature is more open to options, alternatives, things coming, coming towards them and, and actually seeing those rather than having their head down just doing something. So there is a reason to choose optimism over pessimism. Pessimism. It is a healthier choice. It will make you feel better. Um, and current, in the current crisis particularly, a view of being hopeful rather than hopeless. But it actually will change your neurology and it will change the way um, that you see patterns in the world, the way that you see the world. And you will therefore be open to better results and opportunities. Uh, so don't think you're a pessimistic person, um, if, you've, if you feel that already, just know that that's historically been the way you've viewed the world and that you're going to make attempts now to shift your thinking to be more optimistic and deliver better results for yourself.